So, Earwig and the Witch came out on HBO Max recently, and it's the first 3D Studio Ghibli movie. And it's directed by Goro Miyazaki, which is the son of Hayao Miyazaki. And unfortunately, he doesn't really have the legacy of his father. Almost every film directed by him has been regarded as a disappointment. And unfortunately, this film is no different. The movie is based on the novel of the same name, and it makes a lot of sense because it plays out much like a novel where it's very slow moving even though the film is only an hour and 20 minutes. The main character is an orphan girl who doesn't want to be adopted because she always gets what she wants at her orphanage, but she does get adopted by this strange woman and man who takes her in, and she finds out that the woman is a witch. She finds it out very quickly and wants the witch to teach her magic, but the witch just makes her do chores. And honestly, that's most of the movie. That's, that's most of the movie. That's pretty much all the movie is, is just her doing chores. She does slowly find out stuff about the witch and the man, which they call the Mandrake. Even though, as the audience, we kind of already know what they're about because of a flashback that happened in the beginning. So once the girl finds out what these people are all about, it's really no surprise. Like, it seems like there should be some kind of mystery there, but it just doesn't work. And even then, we don't really get to that meaty stuff until the last 15 minutes of the movie. The rest of the film is painfully slow, and the worst part about this is that it's lacking in both the story and the visuals. You would figure with Studio Ghibli's first 3D movie, they might do something crazy, but no, it's very, like, laid back and calm. Which there are a lot of Studio Ghibli films like that, but this is just boring. There is one visually interesting scene in the last 15 minutes, like I told you, but that's about it. And the thing is, it's not like the movie looks bad. The backgrounds and the textures and the world in general look really good. Even the clothes on the characters look really good. It's just, the character models themselves don't look like they belong in the world. They have this very plastic look to them, especially on the hair, compared to something like Lupin the Third the First from last year. That movie was able to make an excellent 3D rendition of a 2D franchise. But with this being the first 3D Studio Ghibli film, it's very disappointing. It's one thing if the visuals were lacking, but the story? Like, yeah, it's just boring. So I would say that's even more disappointing than the visuals. The funny thing is, if this was a completely 2D film, then I think this would have been regarded as an underrated classic. But the fact that it's 3D makes it very unimpressive. It's just very lacking in those things that we think of when we think of Studio Ghibli. But if you want to give it a watch for yourself, it's on HBO Max and you can watch it there. So if you've seen Earwig and the Witch, tell me what you thought of it down in the comments, and I'll see you next time. Bye.